Okay, what I have here is another GE5 tube radio. This has almost the identical board as my stepfather's radio, and it has the exact same cap, which is bad. So when I ordered the one, I decided to, I bought this for five bucks. I figured I would go ahead and recap it for the hell of it. What you're saying to me, I don't hear BS from you, meaning your script believed to be true, and that's good enough for me because we're living in a world of bull crap. Everyone's lying to us, everything's done with a focus group, everything's done with a finger in the air to say which way the wind is blowing before they say it. You say it the way you see it, and people, common people like that. Same old, same old. So, let's see if we can do this one. All right, live on camera. Now, all these ones with the large knob, the knob is coupled to the chat to the case. You can't remove the knob, and I think it's because the tuning capacitor is hot. I don't have an isolation transformer, so we'll just unplug the whole thing and I'm going this one, the board, instead of being mounted in a slot, it's mounted flat. And it's mounted with screws. But at least they were nice enough to put slots in them this time. So you can use a normal screwdriver. Now all of these, it seems like the tube sockets look like they really burn the crap out of the board. They're very darkened around them. Another thing that these little GE tube radios that's a little different is they mount the audio transformer on the board instead of on the speaker basket. And that screw is stripped. The other one's missing. I've never actually did anything to this. I bought it originally to take the board out of. I got it for five bucks. But it was a different configuration. Clock radios that have the board that fits the one that I modded look like this. Except this, I think, is the solid state version. And the other, this one's really beat up. Or actually, I think I put. No, this one's different also. That's got a different board in it than the other one, even though. case is identical. All of these radios from this vintage are pretty much the same. This one they mounted the speaker in the bottom, but this has a good Telecron clock. So I just saved the whole radio case, but the other radio won't fit in the case unfortunately. if I can get the screw to come out but you can't take the tuning knob off it's got a lock clip I'm thinking the tuning capacitor is hot Something else holding this, maybe? Well, I'm going to close the tuning capacitor, and that's what's clipped in, so maybe that's the thing to yank on. Yep, that was the thing to yank on. Hopefully I didn't break something. Just like the other one. It's always fun to figure out how you can get enough wire. Nice thing with working on these, you don't have something that's so valuable that you're nervous. I paid five bucks for it. I paid probably a dollar for the caps. So it's like 
why not for the hell of it try it. This is the exact same can. Which if this one wasn't bad, I probably would have taken this can and put in the other radio. That's common. Which is not the common terminal. Soldering gun's unplugged. Alright. This one we had modulation. We were bringing in Michael Savage. Couldn't understand it. This one actually works. This cap is working some. But obviously not adequately to filter out all the AC noise. So it will go bye bye. The third terminal. And again, they got two things there, so. This was designed to fit different caps from different brands. These are all a marvelous, ingenious, cheap design by GE. Alright. This is actually a 50 and a 30, so I'm still going to use the 68. Common is A, which is down here with the two holes, which makes sense. It also makes it easier. Uh, B is going to be farthest from me, which is the 50. So I'm going to put negative down here. I'm going to use the other set of holes that were provided. Even back in the olden days, they had cheaply made things. A lot of people don't realize that. And these radios were cheap. They made bazillions of them. But at least they're made, they were made in America. And this one is the 68. Or no, this one's the 33, which is going on C. To replace a 30. So both of these are going to be a little oversized. It'll be interesting to see how this one works. And the other radio... The one was a little undersized and it worked good. I don't think they're really that awfully critical on these. So when you're running bad caps, you're running them so out of spec anyway. As long as you have a higher voltage rating. It's nice that I don't have to run wires to them. They actually reach... Another live recapping. I obviously haven't tried this ahead of time because there was no way to do it. Okay. Put the tube back in. But bear in mind this tuning capacitor might be live. So. So that I don't get a shock. I'm going to see if I can just kind of tweak on the volume control enough that I can operate this. Doesn't feel right. It's 
tuning capacitor may not be any good. It might be bent. There we go. It was just the outer fin. Must have bumped it when I pulled it out. No, oh, so tubes, the tubes are already back in there. Okay. And all I can recommend to anybody else is you don't try this at home, kids, unless you, unless your parents aren't home. Actually, you should never operate a set out of the case like this. I got myself up on a wooden chair off the floor. So I'm insulated from the concrete. Yeah, I got some tubes glowing. Turn the fluorescent lights off. Let's see what we can get in for stations here. That guy over there. No, he hasn't even noticed you. What about him? Chance it and touch this shaft. You're the medication expert. So when you or someone you love is in the hospital and have questions about your therapist James Lehman. I know you need to. This tube glows really bright. So that successfully works, as redneck as it is. I'm going to put this back in the cabinet and consider this radio done. Cheap GEAM radio.